Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, I have a featured members video for you guys. I have 28 bolos coming your way, items that these sellers bought low and sold for most of them big money. I am gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. I'm also gonna tell you which platform they sold on. Most of these are eBay, I think there's one Poshmark. So, um, these items come from thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales. They're bolo items, items to be on the lookout for. All right, let's get started here. And again, they're featured members of my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. So basically they have joined memberships and they get perks, which are shout outs in videos that I do. So if you are interested in that, you can join at level two. There's a join button down below. If you don't see it, there's also a link in the description of the video. All right, so let's start with the first one here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you their channel or their eBay store, and then I'm gonna show you their Big Money Bolo. And then at the end, we are gonna have a speed round where we go through 14 super quick. So let's get started with the first one. It comes from Toledo Antique, and they do estate sales. So what they do, um, they go into the buyer's home, or the seller's home, and they sell like, you know how we go to estate sales? They're like the coordinators of the estate sales, but they also have a shop and they also sell on eBay and they also do live selling events on their channel. So they are just full of knowledge. So definitely check them out. And the item that they sold is this, and they have a video on how they package this stuff. I think they're crazy. This is a small lot. They have sold like hundreds of pieces to one person, which you guys, if you watch my channel, you know, I hate breakables. So I'm looking at this like no way, not worth my time ever. I would be so stressed out. But this is a um, Mikasa, I think is how you say it. Fine China Rose Complete Marble Dinner Wear Set. And this is what it looks like. Um, I was going to see if I could find you some markings on the bottom. Okay. So right here, this is what it looks like. Easy, easy, easy to look up. But they ended up, uh, let's see, where'd they get this? They got it at an estate sale for $40 and they sold it for $399.99. The next item was sold by the Cha-Ching King and he is a bolo finder. He sources a lot at an estate sales. And you guys over here on his channel, he's doing a lot of videos that um, help new resellers like shipping is confusing. We made how much? Um, let's see, where is it? more money in three clicks, step-by-step -step eBay. So if you are a new seller and you want to um, get in on some of those educational videos, he's doing a really good job and that's all free to you. Um, but he also has Bolo videos. So check those out because he is a big money Bolo finder and hunter. Um, this is a trinket box. It is, oh, I don't know how to say it. H-A-L-C-Y-O-N, Halcoin. Day's Wizard of Oz Dorothy Enamel Trinket Box. Super, super cool item. Smithsonian uh, Rare. He got this in a state sale for 20 bucks. Um, it is limited edition. He said limited edition items do bring more money. Condition is very important when you're selling these. And if they have the original box and the paperwork, they will go for more. Um, he paid 20 and it sold for $152.99. So very cool item. The next item comes from Farm Girl Scavenger Noel, who is also a big money bolo finder. Uh, she is also renovating her, uh, it's a 1925 Sears kit house renovation. And she's got, she, episode seven, I think there might be another episode out since I refreshed my screen. So she is currently doing some of those videos also, which is not reselling content, but super, super fun to watch. Um, but tons and tons of Bolo info. So um, check her out. And what did she sell? She sold this vintage signed Art Arthur Pepper underwater fish shell gold tone brooch. This is what it looks like. What an amazing piece. Um, I want to see if I can. Okay, here is where it's signed. A-R-T. Now. She picked this up at a YouTube auction from Donatella Bottolino. It was, um, she was in a bidding war and she bid it up to $50 and she sold this in 16 days 
for $116.99. So um, if you're looking for inventory, definitely check out Donatella Bottolino's YouTube channel. And it is linked down below as, as well. This one is uh, the Thrifty Nichols, and she has a YouTube channel, a newer channel, but she's got all kinds of reseller content. Um, definitely go over and sub her up. She's at 134 subscribers as of this video. So let's help her get to 200. And she sold this Tommy Bahama men's uh, martini shirt. And she got this in a thread up box. So cost of goods was approximately seven and she took a best offer of 50. So she does do the thread up boxes. So um, she will have those from time to time on her channel as unboxings. The next item comes from Queen of Hearts Charnel. She does not have a YouTube channel. This is her eBay store. And just some cool different items. And we're going to talk about this one here in a minute. Just some, look at these little turtles. How cute is that? So, so cute. So check out her store. It's linked down below. And this Crayola paint, she said she bought this um, a while back. It was discontinued. So she bought them up and she said they have been selling consistently. She paid at a grocery outlet, $2 each. And she's selling them for $17.28 with free shipping. So definitely a, a interesting bolo. It's Crayola Paint Glaze, eight ounce discontinued, non-toxic, per, permanent clear gloss sealer from 2016. The next item was sold by the Funky Pickle Thrifter. And this item is beautiful. Um, but on her channel, she talks a lot about jewelry, but she also has great what sold big money polo videos where she sells mostly jewelry, but a lot of other stuff also. So definitely want to sub her up. This is amazing. And I actually knew what this was when I saw it because I just listed a pair of clip-on earrings that are similar. Mine are a different color, but they're this wedding cake style. And vintage wedding cake bead necklace, Murano sterling silver clasp, old blue and pink. And this sold on auction for $102.50 plus shipping. She got this at a yard sale. The next item was sold by Got Junk in Our Trunk. And she is now a moderator over in the Facebook group. So you guys, she's getting pretty close to 1,000 subscribers. So go show her some love with a sub. Um, she is fantastic. She used to do estate sales. So she's super, super knowledgeable. This um, is funny. She got uh, these advertising pencils and she got them at an online auction. She paid $150 for uh, 1,200 pencils. She kept about 300 of them to smell, smell, to smell, to sell in small lots or individually. And then she lotted the rest. And um, this one person has spent $715 on pencils from her. But the funny thing is, I saw the name and the title and I was like, I know who bought these. And I messaged my friend and I'm like, did you buy these pencils? And she's like, I did buy those pencils um, because I know that she likes to sell pencils in her eBay store. So really, really funny that I ended up knowing the buyer and the seller on this. But vintage pencils can definitely be a bolo. Um, so the gal that bought them is going to list them on eBay. The next item comes from Gigi's Gold Mine. No eBay, or I'm sorry, no YouTube channel, but a very cool eBay store. Clothing, hard goods, check them out here. I'm going to show you a few more while I'm getting this ready. Um, the item they sold is this awesome dress. It is a smart design women's yellow Hawaiian dress um, made in Hawaii. Here's the tag. Anytime you can find made in Hawaii dresses, definitely pick them up. They typically sell well. I actually just picked one up. Spoiler. It's going to be in one of my thrift videos coming in the future. I don't know how near I need to get everything listed and then I'll get that out. But this came from a church sale for $1 and sold for $69.99. The next item comes from One Stop Shop 59. No YouTube channel. Very cool eBay store. Lots of good stuff. Again, all of these eBay stores are linked down below. And the YouTube channels, if you guys want to follow the eBay stores, 
you can definitely do that and it'll show you when they list new items. Great way to learn. Um, this vintage dancing couple Lucite music box, ballerinas. So um, it is, the dome is missing, but somebody gave this to her and it wasn't working correctly. And someone told her she just needed to fix the pin and she got it working. So very cool. And she did put a video down in the description. So to show that it does work, which is, I think, really important. She sold this for $136.99 plus shipping. The next item was sold by Gail's Resale NC. And lots of cool stuff in her store as well. A big range of items from toys, hard goods, plush, bedspreads. And she sold these Polly Pockets, lot of 19 rooted hair dolls on Poshmark for $49. She got these, I think, at a garage sale for five. The next item comes from Flippin' It Good. He is our retail arbitrage member. And he goes to like Ross and Burlington and he buys shoes for like 50 bucks and flips them for like 300. It's crazy. So he talks about like the clearance and how to source. TJ Maxx, Ross, he's got all kinds of videos down there. Burlington, if you guys are looking to get into retail arbitrage, he is a wealth of knowledge. He also buys vintage and shops at garage sales and thrift stores and stuff also. And he just got a Lost Cargo pallet. So if you guys want to know about how that works, check out this video right here. He sold these Ariat women's boots. They're a size six and a half. And I think six and a half and six are a hard size to sell. Um, he paid, um, he got these out of a pallet. His cost of goods was approximately $30. And he sold these for $145 plus shipping. Antiques at Wandering Creek. Again, no YouTube channel, but awesome, awesome eBay store. Lots of stuff, jewelry, plush, you name it, they got it. Um, let's see. She sold these earrings and she picked these up for $12. They are Judith Ripka and they are garnet heart shaped. Here they are. Here's another picture. And she got them at an online auction for $12. And I'm not sure. I think she took a best offer, but I'm not sure for how much. The next item that sold is from Reselling with Honey. And she has an awesome YouTube channel, but she's putting it on hold to move. But sub her up so that when she comes back, you guys are gonna be getting her content, okay? And she sold this Mickey, um, it's a Jim Shore. Okay, so number one, Jim Shore is a bolo. Mickey and Disney bolo. Um, I've never seen a Disney Jim Shore, but Jim Shore has a very, very unique look to it. This was an awesome find. She got this at a yard sale for $10 and sold it for $149 plus shipping. So very cool. Let me show you. Um, I was going to see if I could find. Here's the bottom. This is what it looks like. The next item was sold by Electric Garage Sale. No YouTube channel, but really cool items. He does a lot of estate cleanouts, so a lot of vintage and um, wow, that's awesome. That's a good price too. Really neat stuff. Okay, what did he sell? He sold this antique John Deere watch fob, mother of pearl, on a leather strap, and he sold this for $59.95 and the buyer paid shipping, and this was from an estate cleanout, so just labor. And again, he does a lot of estate cleanouts, so a lot of times his items cost him nothing other than hard work. All right, this is also his. He got this at the same thing, um, an estate cleanout. It's an antique Stanley number 113 adjustable circular woodworking plane, and he sold this on best offer for $175. All right, you guys, we have entered the speed round. That was the first one. This is a Kirk's Folly Ice Blue Nutcracker Brooch Pin Pendant. And this was sold by Reselling with Honey. She picked it up, I think, at an estate sale, and she paid $10 for it. Sold it for $89.99. Kirk's Folly is a great brand to be on the lookout for. I'm not sure. Let me see if I can find you guys um, right there. It's kind of hard to see. Right there. That's what you're looking for. 
The next item comes from Antiques at Wandering Creek. It's a Radco ornament. She got this at a neighbor's estate and she sold it for $55 and free shipping on that. But it is a hand-blown bunny ornament. Anytime you can find Christopher Radco, definitely search it. Um, typically the tag has, looks like that, this little star. So if you see those, they're usually good money. I've sold a lot of Radcos. This one comes from Flippin' It Good. He got it in a Goodwill box of jewelry and approximately a dollar in this. And he sold this for best offer of 120. It is a vintage Disney 925 sterling necklace, Mickey and Minnie. The next item was sold by Gail's New and Vintage. These are um, Ajax Chrome Chevron Craftsman drawer poles. And she got these at a yard sale for a dollar and she sold these for $39.99. This next item comes from One Stop Shop 59. It is a horsehair pottery signed, uh, I don't know if it's like a vase or what, but that's what it says on the bottom. And it's only three and a half inches, so it's just small. And this she got from a friend and it sold for $119.92. That is fantastic. And that's eBay store, One Stop Shop 59. This next one comes from Gigi's Goldmine is Roller Derby Cobra Men Size 10 Speed Skates. Vintage roller skates do range from bread and butter to big money, you guys, but definitely look them up if you see them. He ended up taking a best offer of $29.99 on these and he got them at a garage sale. And I'm sorry, he didn't put what he paid for them. The next item are these vintage Tommy micro babies. And I smile because I love stuff like this. I love vintage toys, especially things I've never seen before. Look at the little bottles. How cute. Oh my gosh. I would have sold, I would have held out for more on these, but maybe they're not worth more, but I feel like they should be. Um, she ended up taking a best offer of $32 on these and she got them at the Goodwill bins for a dollar. And this one comes from Got Junk in Our Trunk. The next item is this 14 karat gold flag patriotic tie tack lapel pin. And she took a best offer and I'm sorry, she did not tell me what she ended up selling it for. So um, the Funky Pickle Thrifter, if you're watching this, if you can let us know in the comments what you actually sold this for, that would be awesome. She got this at a thrift store for approximately a dollar. So I don't know if um, right there, it's just marked right there. So they just missed it, you guys. 14K. That's awesome. Okay, this next item comes from Queen of Hearts Charnel. She said she was at the Goodwill Bins and she bought a bag full of stuff and it had like this orange towel in it that she has listed. But this heart... Um, a heart rate monitor was in there and she said it sold really fast for $90 best offer of $90 so orange theory never heard of it the next item is this what is this this is a squeezy mates uh okay so her son picked this up at a five and below I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that. It's a like a discount store. And I think everything is $5 or less. Not 100% sure. Do not quote me on that. But um, it was in a blind bag. And a blind bag means you don't know what you're getting. It's kind of a mystery. But he pulled this rare little football player out of it. And um, she ended up taking a best offer of $45 on this. And he was super happy to turn five bucks into 45. So pretty cool as a kid. Um, I think, I think she said he's seven. So squeezy mates, Patrick Mahomes, Kansas city chiefs. So he made 40 bucks profit right there. Bam. From a blind bag. All right. This one comes from farm girl scavenger. Noel, these ribbons. Um, she paid $2 for these and took a best offer of 50. And her tip of the day is she takes a ceramic curling iron and she flattens them with that. Have you guys ever seen these and they're all like crinkled up? Ceramic curling iron, there's your answer. So really, really great item. The next item is from Cha-Ching King and he picked these up at an estate sale for $20 and he took a best offer of 90 on these. These are super, super funky. 
They are Carol Reed ski pants and they're patchwork paisley men's hippie cuffed lined. Look at the tag here. Pretty cool. And again, he took a best offer of 90 on those. So great return. And the last item is from Toledo Antique. It is a lion car hood ornament. And he got, or they got, this at an estate sale. They paid $28.75 for it. And they sold it for a best offer of $100. So some really great bolo items in this video. Would you guys have picked these items up? Or are there any that you would have just walked right by? If you would have walked by one of them, let me know in the comments which item it was. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Again, if you're interested in memberships for Perks, there are um, there's a link down below along with a bunch of other links of sources uh, or resources, I guess I should say, that I use to help my business like List Perfectly and WorthPoint. And um, I sell on Mercari and Poshmark and eBay. And um, I have what sold videos of my items that I have sold tons of those videos on this channel. So you can check those out as well. The I have three of these featured members videos this week, and then a bonus speed round video that'll be coming soon as well. So be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that bell so that you get alerts when I post new videos. Thank you for being here. Drop me an owl emoji if you made it to the end of the video and I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.